Ever wanted to make a lot of numbers in Excel to be of the same length? Let's take a look at how to do it in five simple steps. Step one, just select the numbers that you want to format, then right click on any of the numbers and go down and select format cells. Then click on custom. So if you want your numbers to be five digits long, then just type out five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. And as you can see here in this example, this is exactly what Excel will do. Then just click OK. And here you go, here are the numbers. And voila, here are your numbers formatted. Now, most of the times this is what you want because the numbers are still numbers in Excel. So you can use them in calculations. Let's say if I wanted to add two to each of these, that would still work. Now, in some scenarios, you would want these numbers to be text. And in this case, instead of just using the number formatting, what you would need to do is use a special function called text. And you can use this function using equals and then just type out text and then select the number that you want and then enter the exact same format that you did in the custom, in the number formatting. So I'll add five zeros, one, two, three, four, five close the parentheses, enter, and this would give me the exact same result. But you can notice that these numbers are now aligned on the other side. So these are not numbers because numbers are aligned to the right, but this is text because it's aligned to the left. Now, because I've covered so much Power Query in my channel, it would be just wrong if I wouldn't show you how to pad numbers there. So here we go. Let's start from scratch so it'll be perfectly clear what I'm doing here. So I'll just select all the numbers and paste them into a new spreadsheet. So I've pasted them without any formatting, so here I have all my numbers. Then what I'll do is just pack these numbers into a table. I'll just select all my numbers and click on Format as Table here in the Home tab. Format as Table, select any formatting that you want, it doesn't really matter. I leave my table has headers unchecked, I can rename that to Numbers. But now what I can do is just click on this table, make sure only one cell is selected then go to data and uh, my screen is a little small at the moment but you should see a button called from table slash range something like that click on that and then power query will open and it'll load up your numbers and now what you can do is just click on add column and then custom column then we'll name it padded number and first what we need to do is actually transform the numbers right now we have the numbers as you can see here and then so i need my text.from numbers and then we need another formula text.pad start all right like that and then um, i need to specify how many characters do i need so let's say i want five characters and then i want to pad this number with zeros and you can use any character here. So if you don't want zeros in the beginning, you can use minuses and it'll work as well. Whatever you want to pad this, because this is a text, you can pad it with whatever you want. And now you can just click on OK, and this will give you your padded numbers. And then you can go to Home, Close and Load, and here you have your numbers in Excel. And that's how you do it. Let me know down in, down in the comments. And that's how you do it. Let me know down in the comments if that worked for you and if you have any other questions. I would also really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you. But that's all for today. Have a good one and see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.